It's Pillow Pages time. Is your imagination ready for the new story? The Portal Seekers, A Tale of Friendship and Magic, is a fantasy adventure book that tells the story of Tom, a young boy who has just started at a magic school. He comes from a family of powerful wizards, and his grandfather is a wise and experienced wizard who is Tom's mentor and idol. Tom is excited to start at the school and learn magic, but quickly discovers that it's more difficult than he expected. As a young boy, the school's curriculum is challenging and difficult for him to understand. He struggles to keep up with the other students who have been studying magic for years. The traditional methods of teaching at the school also don't align with his curious and adventurous nature. He finds it hard to memorize spells and incantations, but he finds joy in experimenting and creating new spells. Tom said, I don't understand this. Why do we have to memorize all this? I want to create my own spells. His grandfather, who is aware of Tom's struggles, tries to encourage him and tell him that the traditional methods will make him a more well-rounded wizard in the future. Grandfather said, Tom, magic has rules and you need to learn them before you can break them. Trust me, I struggled with the same thing when I was your age. But look at me now. You will get there, but you need to be patient and keep working. Despite his struggles, Tom continues to be determined and excited to learn. He is determined to prove himself and make his grandfather proud. Tom was in the middle of preparing a potion for his class at magic school. He was tasked with creating a potion that would help him with his studies, but was missing a crucial ingredient, a rare flower that grows deep in the forest. He decides to go and collect it by himself. His grandfather gave him a map and a warning. Grandfather said, Tom, the forest can be dangerous. Take the map and stick to the path. Don't wander off, come back before dark. Tom answered his grandfather, Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I'll be back soon. However, things did not go according to plan. Tom was eager to find the flower and ended up wandering off the path. He got lost in the forest and soon found himself lost and alone. I have to find my way back. I should have listened to Grandpa. As the sun was setting, Tom saw a cave in the distance. He decided to take shelter for the night. As he entered the cave, he was surprised to find a shimmering portal in the back. What is this? A portal. I have never seen one before. But how could it be here? As Tom studied the ancient portal, he felt a sudden urge to step through it and see where it leads. But at the same time, he remembered his grandfather's warning about the dangers of portals. He hesitated for a moment, considering his options. I can't just leave this place, but I have to know where this leads. What should I do? In the end, his curiosity won over, and he reached out and touched the portal without giving it a second thought. As he touched the portal, the world around him began to spin, and he felt himself falling through a tunnel of light. What is happening? I have to hold on. It was Pillow Pages time, stories for the heart and the mind. You'll hear a new tale tomorrow, but for now it's time to say goodnight.